Well, Eric, Sunday afternoon at Wisconsin, not all the elbowing was underneath the basket. The postgame handshake got volatile between Jawan Howard, the coach at Michigan, and Greg Gard, the coach at Wisconsin. On Tuesday, the Big Ten ruled that Jawan Howard has to sit for five games. He's fined $40,000. Greg Gard gets a $10,000 fine, three players suspended. A, are the punishments fair? And B, should the postgame handshake lines be ended? Yeah, I don't know if Chris Mack thinks the punishments are fair. He got six six games for not inciting a near brawl on the court. Um, yeah, look, I, I think it's fair. I don't know that I would have gone so far as to somebody say somebody needed to lose his job. I'm fine with the punishments. I think Wisconsin sends the wrong message. They put out a, a statement today that they were paying Greg Gard's fine. That's too much. That's not good. You have to come out and say what these coaches did was wrong, and I, I think that's it. Yes, the handshake line should stay in college basketball. I think it's a, it's a powerful moment, just like in NFL games. It's not mandated, but players gather on the field after the game. I think it's important for people to see that you can compete at that high and intense level and still get along when it's over. Yeah, uh, Jawan Howard, all I'll say is this. I don't think he should have lost his job either. Uh, I think five games though is a little light. Remember, he was involved with an incident last season with Mark Churgeon of Maryland. This is twice. I think he should have been out for the rest of the season to send a good message. He'll be back now for the Big Ten tournament and if Michigan makes another postseason tournament. And I agree with you. Keep the handshake line. Coaches like to pass themselves off as teachers. Teach yourself and teach your players how to win and lose the right way. I think it's important. I think more coaches will figure that out as we move forward. We'll stay on top of it here at WDRB and WDRB.com. Just click on sports.